Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I'm Daniel Patterson. This is everything that's going on in your neighborhood for the month of April. So traditionally April for real estate agents is a little bit of a tricky month. Reason being is we've got a couple of disruptors being Easter and also the Anzac Day public holidays. What we tend to find is that the number of listings in this month are normally lower and also the number of transactions because we do have some time blocked out where people are normally away do tend to be a lot lower as well. And that's exactly the case for last month. So let's have a look at how your marketplace performed in the month of April. Okay, so let's focus on Des Moines first of all. Now that marketplace in 2021 has been doing exceptional. There's been a large volume of properties which have been trading for an area which normally has a very low number of sales. And all those properties that have traded have been well above the premium range of what we thought those properties were worth. Now the highest sale in Des Moines for April was actually 321 Victoria Place Des Moines, which was sold in this office by myself and me and Fredericks. Now the property traded for just under four and a half million, which is actually the highest house price sale or sale in Des Moines for 2021 so far. So let's move a little bit further along to square four six. Now this marketplace has done exceptional in 2021. There has been a vast volume of properties trading in this area, especially houses, which has been fantastic for a lot of buyers out there who are looking to acquire a family home in a really good area. That area alone actually did 33 sales in the month of April. Now, that is still quite exceptional despite the number of disruptions we had for that month. Albeit though, some of the best months in this core market area are actually being in excess of 50 transactions. Last but not least, let's have a look at 2137. Now this area, like 2046, has been on everyone's radar as well. There has always been a large number of transactions happening in this area. Now in this marketplace in the month of April, there were 37 properties trade. One of the properties which actually really stood out to us was number 28 Jacaranda Drive, which is over in Cabarita. Now this was a freestanding home right near a golf course, but traded for $7 million, which is an exceptional price for a non-waterfront home. So what does all this mean for us moving forward into May? Well, what we're finding is that May obviously is a little bit clearer and there's a fair good run of at least nine weeks up until the school holiday period. We do expect some exceptional real estate to come on the market. There is still a very strong and deep buyer pool of buyers looking to come out there and look buy in the area. And what we're finding is that everything that seems to be listed so far in the month of May has been really well received and the campaigns are on track to obviously having really successful results. Now, last but not least, I want to say a big thank you and congratulations to everyone who entered into our Art Month competition. Congratulations to all those winners who won. We have some exceptional stickers for the year ahead. And if you're driving around your local neighborhood, make sure you keep an eye out for a Cobden Hayes and signboard. And please take note of our sold stickers. We've got some really young budding artists and they've done some tremendous work. Congratulations. That's it for me. Bye from now. I'm Daniel. And I just want to say thank you for tuning in and we look forward to catching up with you and letting you know how May went.